Spooky. We got another lost piece of cartoon media. Are you ready, kids? No. Well, let's do this anyway. A day with SpongeBob SquarePants, the unofficial mockumentary. So you could be looking at this cover with the mindset of, what the fuck is this? Well, no one really knows. No screenshots, videos, anything confirmed to be real. Assuming it is real. Is it real? Is Israel real? According to the website Lost Media Wiki, this was sold for one day on Amazon in 2011 before going out of stock. Likely for legal reasons, this is an unofficial mockumentary that tried to pass for parody law, so maybe it's legal to sell this under parody and fair use, but you know how Nickelodeon and Viacom are. I don't know what you all think, but this sounds like a lot of... Sounds like a lot of... Sounds like a lot of... So how did people figure out this existed? Amazon, Overstock, a lot of websites. This thing could be fake for all we know. All it takes is for someone to make one Amazon listing and other competing shopping websites will duplicate it to their archives. Now let's analyze this DVD cover. Who's this kid? He's actually a pre-existing stock image from a website, which could deny the existence, but graphic designers often purchase stock images. It costs money, but it's faster than setting up a photo shoot, getting the equipment, lighting, makeup, stuff like that. Next, we have the backdrop clearly ripping off SpongeBob's home. This illustration was traced back to artist Jorge Pacheco. Nolan from our Pizza Party podcast was quick to contact him. Jorge made two versions of this drawing for the client that commissioned his work. The first one was denied after a lawyer of the client felt it looked too similar to SpongeBob's actual home, which is where this cover was created. The client is a realtor, a person who sells homes, so either the realtor makes crummy knockoff films by night, or some asshole stole his art! Let's look closer at the reviews on top. Fantastic. A total crowd pleaser. Great film. Very creative. These reviews are by both people who never worked for this publication, while some of these publications flat out are non-existent. So who made this film? That's a confusing mystery too. Innovision Films, Regal Films, Relentless Media Group, different website sources point to different producers. The distributor, Relentless Media Groups, is a legit company who released other DVDs that do exist, like this Justin Bieber documentary. Just four short years ago. Justin Bieber did not- Oh, that is not Justin Bieber. That's- that's Justin Bieber. Oh, wait, it's an unofficial Justin Bieber documentary, meaning they could not use his image or music whatsoever. They got some generic brown-haired kid for the stock image in this crappy slideshow of a film. Imagine giving this to a preteen girl for her birthday. I wanted Justin Bieber, but all I saw was Cheapy McCheapskate. Obviously, Justin wasn't present for interviews in this film, but they interviewed one of his fangirls. He got over 10 million hits on his videos on YouTube, which was amazing. No other kid had got that many hits. That was not generic and scripted at all. So if Relentless Media Group wanted to dick right off Bieber, why not one of the most popular children television shows? The money is always right! Now, they may or may not have created a day with Spongebob. They're the distributor who only put these DVDs in store shelves. Regal or Innovision Films are the possible creators. Now, I warn you, stay away from Regal Films' official website as it tries to install Trojan viruses into your system. Either they were hacked or someone bought up the website. Should you use Internet Wayback Machine, a domain that archives past website layouts, we can see at one point Regal really did have an online presence and made other unauthorized documentaries from the likes of Steve Jobs, Oprah, and Taylor Swift. Not only that, but their headquarters and contact info is listed. Anonymous users from the Fortune 500 company said they have attempted visiting their offices in person. Conflicting reports reveal they're abandoned, while others say the location is within a space at a shopping mall that's not publicly accessible. So it's likely that's where Frank West could be keeping survivors. Can't get it at the box or the flicks? Hastings has it 28 days before them. I'm starting to believe this isn't a hoax. There's archives of vendors who at one point did have it in stock. Two current Hastings employees came forward anonymously on Fortune's coup board and ordered a DVD through Hastings' secret employee catalog thing that only employees can order from, I guess. 
It'll take two weeks to ship. Two weeks later. First off, Hastings the book and movie store, that's still around? Mine closed down. And second, it's been over two weeks and so far, no word back. I'd say they deserve punishment for their lies, but the ultimate punishment would be working at Hastings. No disrespect to retail employees making a living, it's just that all these book and movie stores are going down the path of Blockbuster. You know what else is really hard to find? The Mean Girls DS game. Go ahead, you can't find anything on it. No screenshots, videos, emulators, ROMs, nothing. Yet it's listed on Walmart and other sites. Do not get it confused with the iOS Mean Girls game, that's different. There's something creepy about researching lost pieces of media. A few screenshots of the mockumentary surfaced, but just like a retail employee's optimism, they're fake as shit. You can put any jumble of Spongebob-esque images together and say it's the lost film, someone's gonna believe it. I sometimes upload random photos and videos of people claiming it's me and people will grasp desperately at it believing me. There's reviews on Amazon that are likely just jokes, but strangely enough, someone uploaded what's said to be the theme song of the film back in 2014. In a magical and possibly false renovation, a former Regal Films employee came forward anonymously, but their description of the movie's plot conflicts with the official summary on Regal Films. I posted both those stories and my sources in the YouTube description. As the official summary reads, SpongeBob lives in Hollywood and runs a contest for a child to spend the day with him until things get screwed up. Just from that, I'm pretty much expecting... Hey everybody, it's me, Cool Cat, and I've got a fantastic story to tell you! Placing my bet on it now, this video is gonna be some guy in a store-bought SpongeBob costume walking around Hollywood Boulevard with a little kid who's really just the filmmaker's son. Oh. <laughs> We're not SpongeBob. Things are just getting shadier. 4chan... Do we even know? Who is this 4chan? 4chan has been tracking down Regal Films to discover they've repeatedly changed names, had other films and failed Kickstarters made, yet any employee they've contacted affiliated with them seems to not exist, deny any knowledge of a day with Spongebob, or be in prison. At this point, we're all just starting to speculate if this is either a front for a money laundering scheme, or just some small company trying to make a quick buck and distance itself from past failures. Pretty sure it's the latter. It's possible this was pulled from store shelves for copyright reasons. Using my connections, I messaged a friend working on a current show at Nickelodeon, but they've yet to find a higher up that knows anything about the Spongebob mockumentary. How can something like this vanish? There's social media posts from 2012 of people who worked for Regal or bragged about watching a day with Spongebob. It looks so familiar. I felt as though I passed by this at a Walmart years ago. It shouldn't be so difficult to track down a DVD this recent. <sighs> I had a dream a few weeks back, I found the lost DVD in my room, but it was just one of those dreams where you get something and begin waking up to realize it wasn't actually in your hands. I guess we're a long ways off from finding a day with Spongebob. Until now. Thanks to Sandra of Corpus Christi, Texas, who found a bootleg version of this at a flea market, she sent this to my P.O. box in the description. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Here's the menu! Play, 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 play! Yes! Oh god! Are you legal-aged adults ready to watch some porn? <laughs> um, excuse me? Who lives in a vibrator under the sea? I think I've made a terrible mistake. One pair of pants later. Congratulations! You have just seen SpongeBob's lost episode! That's enough good deeds for one day! But you want to see more? Let's watch it again! <laughs> That's a great idea, Bonnie!
then relive the spongy goodness all over again. This one's gonna fly! SpongeBob's Lost Episode, tomorrow night at 8, 7 central, on the first network for kids, and Flying Yellow Sponges, Nickelodeon. This is gonna be 